Yo, it's Brian here. Today, talking about the San Francisco 49ers. In this one, going to be talking about the roster start, cut, bench, who is going to be on the roster come week one. Last year, we kept about five or six linebackers, I think five in particular. This year, it could be a little bit different because, you know, that one additional spot, they could have six linebackers. But for me in San Francisco, I believe they're going to keep about five and probably the same guys that they have in their Super Bowl run. Nobody left in the linebacker position for free agency. If this is a little bit of a short video, then it's pretty easy to tell who's going to be on this roster come week one the difficult thing really is maybe the depth position but other than that the guys that are starting that are going to be here for a long time they're going to be on this roster and i'm pretty sure you guys know by now who will be on this roster going to be sending this as an instant premiere for you guys so if you're watching this live as i'm watching it right now then welcome i'm gonna be doing this not too often i don't want to annoy you guys with notifications so if it's a video that i believe you guys should be watching then i would do it as an instant premiere there you go if you're watching this thank you very much ahead of time anyway it's going to get the video started but before i do as always please like and subscribe that's going to definitely help me a lot click that bell notification to get notified of future videos so you guys can get alerted on which videos come out pretty much almost every day trying to get back to that schedule also share this content share this channel with fellow niner faithful that definitely helps me out a lot as well trying to get to 5,000 subscribers potentially by the start of 2020 season hopefully you guys do that if you can to other fellow niner faithfuls or just football fans in general that definitely helps me out a lot let's just get this video started 49ers linebacker position who is going to be on this roster come week one all right time to talk about the linebackers right now they did get a couple of guys from from the offseason program so I don't know if that's gonna make the biggest difference but hey they could be a very good chance of making this roster out of the any of the positions on the defensive side of the ball the linebacker position it's not gonna be too hard it's one of the most talented cores I think in the NFL it's very underrated nobody talks about them we talk about the Panthers a couple of years ago we talked about the Seahawks with Bobby Wagner but nobody talks about our linebacking core for a reason but maybe our defensive line is just that good you don't really need to talk about anything else behind that defensive line but anyways and it's great to have a linebacking core when you have one of the great ones I think in the NFL middle linebacker Fred Warner then that is going to be a beneficial thing for the 49ers he definitely will be on the roster there's no question about it he should be a pro bowler by now but for whatever reason he always gets snubbed for Luke Keekley and Bobby Wagner not taking anything away from them but at the same time I believe Warner should get some honorable mentions for at least a second team all pro because I think he's that good anybody that's not a 49er fan watch his tape he is a big difference maker he's going to be one of those guys that is going to be a stable for your team for the next couple of years I'm pretty sure San Francisco John Lynch Kyle Shanahan they're going to find their way to keep this guy longer with a big contract in a couple years assuming that he keeps the trajectory that he's going right now from his rookie year all the way until now wonder he's definitely in another guy to take into account that definitely will be on the roster is Quan Alexander one they paid him a lot of money two he just brings a lot of energy as you all know by now he brings a lot of great playability he gives it all whatever he can when healthy there's no question at all he deserves a roster spot this year in 2020 pretty obvious there third guy pretty obvious as well Dre Greenlaw the standout star out of pretty much all the rookies in 2019 he did a really good job I think he was a big surprise to a lot of people he kind of was to me but I felt like you know with our linebacker spot being a little bit shaky last year I think he could contribute he definitely did because you look at the game against Seattle that last play oh man he saved our number one seed got to give him a lot of credit for that Greenlaw he's definitely in I expect him to have a great season in 2020 built on that rookie year that he did some other guys to talk about I think a couple of guys they can keep Al Shazier Mark Minacha those two guys they're pretty good role players as well when you need to fill them in they're great players Manacha he can fill in for Kwan Alexander he did a couple of times week one I can remember he took over for Kwan when Kwan got ejected for hitting Jameis Winston in the head he got an interception off Jameis and yeah that was the rest of the game right there those two guys I mean that's five spots it's pretty much over essentially this video those are the guys I would keep definitely Chizier he might be a little bit in jeopardy maybe they like the guys that they signed in the offseason but you also have Joe Walker from the Arizona Cardinals you also got some guys Joey Al Farrelly number 50 Demetrius Fanning Fowles and Jonas Griffin he's a rookie those guys they might be able to take a spot but at the same time the guys that they have right now there's really no reason why to change our roster our linebacking core in my opinion if they want to keep another guy they can maybe Walker could be the guy that they keep but other than that I see five guys on this roster and it's the same guys that started in week one and that's going to end the season with the Super Bowl appearance last year so there's really no difference maker for this upcoming season the guys that we have right now I'm not too worried at all I'm not concerned the only thing I am worried about is Kwan Alexander definitely I mean when he got injured last year it was not good I think we suffered just a little bit but at the same time I mean Greenlaw filled in really really well so they might be a competition spot potentially for the starting outside linebacker if they want to go 
4-3 base defense, those three guys would be perfect. But if they go to a 4-2 nickelback with K1 Williams, then there could be a little bit of competition at that. I would not be opposed to any guy getting the roster spot or getting the starting spot if it's a nickel defense. But I do love me some Quan Alexander. There's just something about him that makes me happy every time I get to mention him, every time I get to see him play. It's just a joy to watch him play because of that energy. I'm pretty sure you guys feel it when you guys watch him on game day. That's pretty much it, you guys. Pretty quick video right here. I know this is not the most exciting video, but at the same time, I do it for every position. So tomorrow is going to be a little bit more interesting with the defensive backs. We have a little bit of problems with that. Super Bowl, I mean, I can mention that any day with the defensive backs, but I'll mention that tomorrow. So please let me know what you guys think about the whole linebacking core. I like to hear what you have to say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That's going to definitely help me a lot. I'll be catching you guys up probably tomorrow on a Thursday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day. Hot boys, thank you for watching this instant premiere. And if you're watching this in the future.